Hey guys, it's Am back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a fresh new official release of iOS 10 on any iDevice that's supported. This is really easy and it's going to make your phone faster and it's going to be an official release of the iOS 10. It's going to be a fresh install. So stay tuned to know how to do this. Alright guys, so I'm here on my Mac. The same process works for Windows. There's nothing different. You have to have an application called iTunes and then go to your browser and download your firmware in the link which is called IPSW.me. I'm gonna have it in the description. You're gonna choose your product which is an iPhone in my case and choose the model of the iPhone that you have with you. Mine is a 6 plus and then choose the official release which is IPSW in my case which is iOS 10 and you will press on download and your IPSW will be downloaded. I'm not gonna download it because I have it already. And this is the first step finished. Um, you're just gonna wait for the download to be done. And then you're going to open up iTunes and connect your iDevice and you will have your iDevice shown here. But I really strongly recommend backupping your iDevice before you start this tutorial because you don't want to lose any data or anything so be sure to make a backup before you update it to iOS 10. And for those people who have Cydia on their iDevices, you have to do a backup because if you don't do so, you will lose all the data. And I'm gonna explain how. Now, because I have Cydia, I cannot just simply press on update. I have to first restore the iPhone and then restore my backup. But for those people who don't have Cydia, for the sake of the video, make sure to do a backup and then just press on update. And I'm just gonna wait for it to be done. And by that I mean I'm gonna wait for the backup to be finished. Alright guys, so the backup is just finished. So just like I said before, if you have Cydia, make sure to backup. And if you don't have Cydia, also make sure to backup. After your backup is finished. For those people who have Cydia, press on Alt or Option on your Windows and you will be shown with this screen. And what you're going to do is choose your IPSW and press on Open. And for the people who don't have Cydia, Make sure to do the same, press on ALT on Mac or press on OPTION on Windows and you will be shown with the same screen and you can choose your IPSW. But because I have Cydia, I'm gonna first restore my phone and I'm just gonna press on the IPSW and press on OPEN and then press on RESTORE and it will extract the software on my iOS device and I will have iOS 10 on it once it's finished. So I'm just gonna fast forward the video so I don't make it long on you guys. So be sure to stay tuned. Alright guys, as you can see it says welcome to your new iPhone, um, so I'm just going to set it, set up my iPhone as a new iPhone or you can restore from, your, from the backup that you did earlier. Because I don't want to lose any data, I'm just going to press on, simply press on um, restore from this backup, the, the backup that I just did before and just press on continue and you will have all your data back and you will have iOS 10 on your iOS device without any data lost and that's how it's going to be done guys okay so after this bar is finished your iPhone will restart and you will have iOS 10 fully functionally running on your iOS device it's going to be a fresh install of iOS 10 and it's going to be the official release version so it's going to be fast and quick and fresh so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like this video if this helped and comment if you have any issues, I will guarantee it that I'm going to reply. And for future videos about iOS and iPhone, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I have weekly videos about them. So thank you guys for watching and until next time, peace out.